Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at using the Amazon Repeat Intent in your Alexa skills. So this is a built-in intent that you would use to uh, deal with cases where a user asks your skill or Alexa to repeat the last thing that she said. And it's uh, pretty easy to implement, but it builds on a couple of topics that I have covered in previous videos. So if you have not watched those, you might want to do that. Those are videos, let's see, uh, 192 uh, and video 188. So in 192, if you go to uh, youtube.com slash Lab, you can search uh, and then just enter in the number here 192 so 192 we talked about using session attributes for state management which we're going to use in this so if you haven't watched that tutorial you want to check that out and then uh in 188 um actually this isn't really related but it's kind of you don't need to watch this one but it's sort of related which is um handling yes and no responses which are just other uh built-in uh intents that are provided by uh amazon all right, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, one other quick thing. This stuff changes really quick. Uh, I say this for all of my tutorials. Look for the, um, if you look in the description and you see something like this, updated video with a URL, follow that URL. Stop watching this one because the uh, this stuff changes. The new URL will take you to the new video. You don't want to waste your time. All right, with that, let's get into it. You want to go to uh, developer.amazon.com slash Alexa and log in. If you don't have an account, create one. And once you've done that, um, go to your uh, skills console. So if you're here, uh, you're just going to go your Alexa consoles and then skills. And that's going to take you to your skills and you'll go create skill. And we're going to be doing a um, we're going to be doing a built in or a hosted skill. Uh, just call it demo skill. And I've talked about hosted skills in previous tutorials also, but basically um, this lets you do everything right from the web browser. You don't have to, you can do it all from the developer console. So at developer.amazon.com, you don't need to go to AWS uh, and or uh, do anything um, outside of the, uh, the, the web browser. So that's kind of cool. And that's why I'm gonna use that for this, uh, this demo. I still um, prefer the Ask CLI, so uh, that's just my preference. You have a lot more control over everything with the Ask CLI, and I saw a recent question on um, the Alexa Slack channel. Somebody was asking uh, if, um, if you're already comfortable using the uh, Ask CLI, is there any advantages to moving to hosted skills? And in my opinion, there is not. But if you're just getting going with this stuff or you just want to do something quickly, hosted skills is, um, is is simpler, so. All right, with that, when you set up a hosted skill, uh, you've got sort of a boilerplate hello world skill here, and we're gonna turn on testing and just uh, talk about what it does. And um, usually what I like to do for this is like open these things in a separate tab in the browser, where I can go back to build over here. And I usually open like a test tab, a build tab, and a code tab. And that just saves a little bit of time because it takes these screens, uh, not, not super long, but a little bit of time to load. So over here, we wanna turn on testing for development and just test this out. Uh, I call it demo skill. So just test the launch intent. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? I'll just say hello for now. Hello world. Okay, and now if I say, can you repeat that? Sorry, there is nothing to repeat. Okay, so right now um, you can see that uh, nothing's happening here. We Actually, we have to make a couple of changes for this. I think after it says hello world, it doesn't listen. So let's go into the code first and check that out. Um, let's see. So here it is, hello world. Yeah, and like right here, we'll just do like a reprompt. But we'll ask for something. Say hello, I'll change this to hello there. What else would you like? If 
from me. <laughs> um, all right, and this, this way we'll just keep the session open for that. And now the other thing that we need to do is if we're going to handle the uh, repeat request, we need to add the repeat intent. And to do that, we're going to go over here to the, uh, the build section and then add for the intents. And then this is one of the, uh, the built-in intents and just type repeat and you'll see it in here. Here it is, the Amazon repeat intent and add that. And we'll save and build the model. And while that's building, we'll go back over to our code. Uh, where is our code? There it is. Um, we'll go back over here to our code and we'll uh, wire up an intent handler so that we can handle that repeat intent. And I'm going to just cut, actually, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Let's change this to repeat. Repeat intent handler and Amazon repeat intent. Like this, and I'm gonna, for right now, just put a placeholder in here that says, um, uh, I could remember what I said. I repeat it. escape this okay so right now uh, what's it yelling at here get rid of one of these there we go um, so right now we'll just test this out this is deploy that this is just a stub uh, that will test to make sure that the uh, the repeat is being um, recognized and handled by the right intent handler. Ah, actually, you know what? I, f I always forget to do this. need to add this down here. And save it and deploy it. Okay, let's test it out. We'll go over here and start this all over again. Welcome. You can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Try hello. Hello there. What else would you like from me? Repeat that. If I could remember what I said, I'd repeat it. Okay, so right now it's it's all working except for one thing, which is we need to have something remembered or uh, remember we talked about in the last tutorial session state. And so we can easily deal with that by going back. Whoops, I have a new, see that's why I opened the other tabs. I don't know why I did that, okay. So we can go um, go back over here, and um, what we need to do is we need to just add something to uh, a session or save it to a database, something to recall what Alexa said last. And in this case here, this is a super simple example. So we can just like save um, this welcome. You can say hello, uh, and we'll do that with the attributes manager again we talked about this in the last tutorial which was um, number 192 and so we'll just do like something like that for the attributes and um, i'm just copying and pasting this cheating so i don't have to type it all again and we'll set the um, last result to this value here, the speech text value. And then I'm just saving that, uh, the attribute manager, saving that to the sessions here, saving the attributes. And then um, all we need to do is uh, just get that back and speak it out. And let's do that like this. We're gonna do that in the repeat intent handler 
that we just created, which is, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, so right here, I'll just do this. And change this to not a constant so that I can change it up. So in this case here, now I'm just gonna grab that, um, the attributes using the attributes manager, get the attributes that are saved. And then if that last result is there, then I'm just changing it up to say, I said, and then attributes last result will save that. And deploy it. And should be done deploying in a second. And we'll go back over here and I will use the tab that I should have been using before. To, uh, to test this again. So demo skill. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Hello there, what else would you like from me? I said welcome, you can say hello or help. And Which would there you like we to go. Try? Let me show you just one more thing really quickly. So it's all working right now. So you can see it pulled that session value, but um, uh, try something like, can you say what you just said? Hello there. What else would you like from me? Okay, you see like in this case here, I wanted to fire the, uh, the repeat intent handler can you say what you just said, but it wasn't recognized. So one more thing that I wanna talk about and then I'm gonna wrap this one up is um, extending built-in intents to handle um, utterances that uh, maybe are outside of what it's uh, natively gonna support. So this repeat intent handler, we're gonna edit it here and do something like this. Can you say what you said again? or what you just said. And something like, uh, say that over. I don't think that's supported either. Something like that, so we'll, or say that again. I think that'll work. And build the model. And this will take a second to build, but then we'll go ahead and test it. So right now we're, we're, we're basically just extending this repeat intent to also support these utterances here. So it'll support the, um, the obvious kind of, um, can you repeat that, those kinds of things. But sometimes there's, you might have users that say, or want, to, want it to be repeated, but say something that isn't recognized. And this is an easy fix. We'll let this um, build finish and then we'll go over here and test it again. So I don't think it's still gonna be open. So let's just go like this. Um, Hello there, what else would you like from me? Um, Hello there, what else would you like from me? So I don't even remember what I put for my example. Um, say that again. Welcome. There you we can go. Say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Okay, so um, so yeah, so it's all working. That is it for this tutorial. It's a short one, and um, hopefully it was helpful. I, I, the the built. I've been spending more time looking at the um, the built-in uh, intents, and just wanted to create some uh, tutorials around some of the basic stuff that comes up a lot in. Uh, in skill development. So again, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please like the video. And if you haven't already, um, go to youtube.com slash dabble lab and you can uh, subscribe there. There's uh, well over um, 120 some odd tutorials on uh, Alexa development, uh, uh, Twilio Autopilot, Google Assistant and uh, Cortana or the Microsoft Bot Framework. So if you're into uh, building voice apps, there's lots of stuff for you. Thanks so much.